Okay, so this is a tutorial for how to upgrade your Casio FX9750 G2 to output natural display and get exact values. Also, at the same time, retain all your other functions such as uh, complex mode. So firstly, you want to actually check the version number of your calculator, which you do go by going into system and pressing F4. Now you have to remember that it is this version 0.2.04.0701 or you can have 0 0.0700. All other versions you have to find some other method. Okay, so the first and easiest thing to do is to create a new folder on your desktop and call it calculator as I have done here. Then you must open these three links on your browser and which will be linked in the description, so don't worry about that. Plus, these are all virus free. Click download through your browser, which is the right grayish button. And wait for them to download. And then allocate it to the newly created um, calculator folder. Save. Okay. And after that, you must extract the files called FX Remote. Click on it, click on it again and then click on the second one, extract all. Extract. So now you should have this new logo with a lightning bolt and a green background. Exit out, open the calculator folder again, and now download and install FA124. Press yes. What this program does is allows your calculator to sync with the computer, which is very important, otherwise you cannot update and install the firmware. So, finish. Perfect. Then you have to press the reset button on, on the back of your Casio, by do, as shown. Or easy, it's easier to actually do it with the um, help of a friend or a sibling. Okay, press the reset button. We'll pressing F2, number four, and AC on, all at the same time. And then letting go of the reset button by lifting up, and then letting go all at the same time. F2, four and AC on. It should be a blank screen and then you press 9 and then the multiplication sign. If nothing comes up then press 9 again and now you should have a high contrast uh, screen saying OS error please update OS which is very hard to see right now. At this point you connect your mini USB cable to the back of the calculator as shown. Okay, so now open the calculator folder again and click on FX Remote. There are two FX Remote files because one is a compressed zip file and the other one is the actual extracted file. Click on the top one which is the extracted file, click on it again and then click on this lightning green logo one and then press recover flash. Now this is the very very important bit. Go back into your calculator folder and then click on FX Mod 2. Now two files show up. Then check your actual calculator version number. If your calculator's version number ends with 0700 then you must use the file ending with SH3. If your calculator's version number ends with 0701, then you must use SH4. My one 
ends with 0701, so I have to drag and drop SH4. Click on this and then press open. And then just press OK. Press OK again. Then you will see on the calculator that it is um, going through the update. It's still very high contrast. You will wait until this blue bar is completely filled, which may take around uh, two minutes or so. Okay, so after the blue bar has been completed and the transfer has been all done, your calculator will come up with a screen like this. Press F1 to continue. And then just press menu key. Okay, then go into the first option. Press shift menu and then press F1. Go back and now you have natural input natural display, whatever you want to call it. Also, a couple more things. When the first time that you offer this, uh, the calculator, it may go into this, it will go into this Casio loading screen and it will, rem it will freeze. Then just press the restart button at the back and then do the same steps. Press shift menu F1 and then everything will be good to go.